What's up? Got a nice little pile of new games here. Another good stuff. Um, was, was trying to wait out this video uh, because I was waiting for a couple of cool things for the. That reminds me, I'm showing now uh, Mario Kart 8 on the Switch. <laughs> it's in, it's in the, it's in the Switch. Yeah, I've been playing that a little, kind of a lot. It's kind of tedious in the beginning when you, everybody that plays Mario Kart, you know, if you like me, you want to get three stars on everything, you know, like 50, 100, 150, uh, uh, a mirror, and now 200 as well. It takes some time, you know, to get, I mean, the 50s and the 100s and almost all the 150s, you get probably, you know, like three stars the first time you try it but after that it gets tedious because it's you know four tracks you need to be fast in every single damn race so I'm enjoying that but I'm I'm in I'm back to Zelda I'm back to Zelda like really much uh, since I finished it and actually beat Ganon I was off it for maybe two three weeks uh, or a month maybe, I don't know, two, three weeks, three weeks, four weeks, who knows. And um, I didn't play it and uh, then I went back a little bit and then they um, the, the, uh, released the, the DLC, DLC, is that the word? Downloadable content, yeah, DLC. <laughs> uh, and the first post of, part of it, that drew me back into the game. But I didn't really do the DLC at all because I kind of realized I had like maybe eight uh, shrine quests uh, that actually did, the, you know, so I actually got the quest, but I didn't do the quest. So I think I have one of those left now, I made seven of those. Uh, I have so many side quests I haven't done yet, so I'm trying to do those. Yeah, what a game. It doesn't, it feels like it never ends. Um, yeah, that was that, and um, this is probably going to be a two-part video, is, I think, maybe, maybe not, let's start, let's do this quick. Uh, if you've seen my videos back, from back in the days, I've showed you these, um, these are uh, my Super Famicom official, like, Things made for the Super Famicom in Japan. And this one stores uh, games, eight of them. And you can see there, uh, Yoshi, come on, focus, focus, focus. There you go. Uh, Super, Super, Super Mario 4, <laughs> Super Mario World. So, yeah, I got that one, and then I got two of those. Also, I also always had this one for like many years now. Come on, this is with the, my Super Famicom and more games. You can actually have um, controllers under the Super Famicom. This is sexy, I know. So fucking sexy, come on. Focus on that. Yeah, so I had those. I, I had those for many years. So I thought that was the only. Maybe getting more of these. I was thinking maybe. I only got two. So I saw this uh, from a guy, a Swedish guy, selling it from Japan and I jumped on it. I've never seen it before. It's from the same series. It's like a little cabinet. Uh, you know, the, with the same here. You can actually open that up and have a, I don't know, maybe a controller or more games in there. Come on, screen. Games are flying. Come on, I don't want to destroy it. First thing I'm doing now. Yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. And uh, the cool thing about this one as well, let me put it here. Uh, yeah, these doors. Uh, so you kind of push in the game and then you can get it out. So they're kind of secure and nice and tidy in there. Push it in, and they're kind of stuck in there because I have a thing behind it. 
Yeah. So cool. There's two doors. So this was shipped from Japan for like, oh, like 45, 50 pounds, which I think is awesome. So I kind of think my Super Famicom extra peripheral is kind of finished now because yeah, that's a lot. So that was a cool pickup. Uh, let's go on with the movies, movies from my movie, yeah, mostly for my 80s collection, of course. I uh, didn't have this one weirdly, Poltergeist. Uh, oh, my my f f absolute favorite from the the eighties uh, era. Uh, John Hughes. John Hughes did so many good movies back in those days, and this is some kind of wonderful. Yeah. So, oh, I really want to watch this now. And this is actually not in 80s movies, but it's a 90s movie which kind of get me into that feeling. And I, I'm not a huge fan of Mike Myers. I mean, you know, a few of things like, you know, kind of good. But this one is probably my all-time favorite of Mike Myers. And that is So I Marry an Axe Murder. Really good movie. I absolutely love this one. Um, my um, James Bond uh, movie collection uh, that is released from the same kind of company, so you get the nice bind when they are put together. It's going really well. I think I have like four or five movies left. So we got Diamond Fever. Is that called that in Swedish, in, in English? No, Diamonds Are Forever. We call it Diamond Fever in Swedish. Diamond Fever. Sean Connery one. Uh, Live on a Moltavla, that's Living Daylights. Mm. Oh, fantastic one. Moonraker. And yeah, Roger Moore. Focus. Roger Moore is my favorite. Um, rest in peace, by the way. My favorite uh, Bond character. I don't know why, it's, he was kind of funny. Very gentleman kind of way. Oh, live and let die. This one is so good. So that was a few more uh, Bond movies, and then we have. Uh, I think this is actually Canadian. Uh, I remember really liking this one when it came out in the eighties. Well, this is like eighty-five or something. Uh, it's called Three O'clock High. Really good stuff. I'm not 100% sure I don't really have this one, but I, I couldn't take the sh chance because I really think this is fantastic. It's with um, uh, uh, with Bob Lowe and Patrick Swayze. That is uh, Young Blood. Absolutely amazing. I don't know why I bought this one. I think I already have it. He's a writer. And this one I thought I have as well, but. I was like 90% sure I. So I'm like, I, I couldn't pass it up, you know, one pound. Young guns. Great. And then we got another uh, movie for my uh, Stephen King collection, which it's a movie I didn't know it was made. And that is uh, Dolan's Cadillac with Christian Slater. I have no idea what this movie is like. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm nice to have another. Stephen King edition. Let's go into movies. Uh, we can go with the Telltale game, uh, which I got for like four pounds, and um, that is the Wolf Among, Among Us. Complete and very very nicely for four pounds. I was happy with that. So one more PS3 game, and then we go with. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the uh, Wii U games. The first one is uh, I don't have many Wii U games I still want now. I think it's maybe like one or two. Or even that, I don't know. Come on, focus. Uh Mario Party 10. With the big box. So yeah. It's really cool with the Mario in there. And it's not being opened. And uh 
what I heard about this game is not the best Mario Party, sadly, but I wanted all the big boxes, and the last big box uh, Wii U game that I wanted with uh, with um, uh, Amiibo as well is Super Smash Brothers. And it had a ding when it arrived in the post, which I got me fucking pissed off. Focus. Yeah. That kind of pissed me off. Otherwise, in that, it's a very nice Nick. That's the movie. Yeah, that's the game. Uh, so, I wasn't supposed to get this one into my Wii U collection, but it was only like nine, ten pounds sealed, shipped. So, yeah, I took a shot with it. And it, that is the Devil Third. I think this might be a kind of a, not expensive, but expensive game in the future, maybe. And my last uh, Lego game. No, it's not my last Lego game. I want, you know, Lego Dimensions as well on the Wii. But I didn't have Batman 3. So we got that. That was the Wii U. Uh, uh, we got an, uh, my last uh, amiibo uh, for the Okuri, uh, not Okuri, Breath of the Wild, the first four, uh, uh, not the new ones. But I didn't have Zelda, but I finally got her, and you, you can still get this one. Uh, come on, focus. You can still get Zelda, but she, it is the. Japanese one as you can see but I'm going to open them I'm just going to keep my um, uh, now I'm going to open them I'm gonna, not going to stay in the box so that doesn't matter for me because if it's Japanese or European the, the me was the same then we've got a which I heard is a fantastic little game on the on the, on the DS that is Glory Days 2 uh, I think it's like a like a horizontal shoot 'em up with also like some platforming and uh, yeah. It's kind of cheap. And another game which is one of my favorite games back from the Commodore 64 days, and that is Arkanoid. And having an Arkanoid on a handheld, perfect. That's Arcanoid for the DS. Uh, yeah, that brings me to the the Wii games, and uh, I always say, oh, I think I have like, oh shit, we need to fast up now because it's only like two minutes left. So, uh, Rabbit, go home. Because I want to try out the Rabbids game before it comes to the, the Switch, even though it's nothing of these kind of games. But I got the Rabbid, Raven Rabbids Party Collection, which is with Rayman, Raven Rabbids, Rayman, Raven Rabbids 2, Rayman, Raven Rabbids TV Party. Boom. Um, and then we've got Bully Scholarship Edition. Come on, focus. And the last one. Which is the heavy hitter, which I'm really happy with. I got this shipped from uh, Australia, so it's pal. Uh, does look any thing Australia? It even says this has quick start in Swedish. So um, I got this for I got this like well under twenty pounds if I remember right. That is Klonoa, which is based on. It's like a, the first game of Clonoa where they came out of PS1. Well, yeah. Like a apt version for it. So, it's with a nice, it's like a bit of ding, ding there. And it's kind of ripped there. But for less than 20, I think it was like 15 pounds shipped from Australia with the bite now. I was like, I'm having that. I'm definitely having that. So, we collection uh, videos coming up really soon because I don't know if I 
I think I finished. I think I'm finished with the weekly. I have them. Boom. So I didn't stop at 15. I thought it was 15. Anywho, and it's probably 16. Uh, that was a pickup video. I have some really cool things come in, but since I ordered them at the same time from PlayAsia, uh, they're not shipping until all the pre-orders, you know, before they come out. Do you understand? Uh, so some games has already come down here, uh, or in US and Japan. But there's two of them coming out in August, so they're not going to ship all four until the last one. So oh, that's killing me. Uh, I, I I couldn't really get them when I ordered it, but yeah, stupid me. Order one by one by one. If you don't want that to happen, like that. So that that's it, guys. Uh, Actually, pick, pick a video and uh, be nice and all that, all that jazz and have a good time in Blackpool, people. Enjoy yourself. Even though I'm not there, fuck. <laughs>